Hey fam, Chef Lori is here. You know, it's about Thanksgiving time and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this beautiful roasted turkey breast. You know, can you see how beautiful she is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn her around so you can see what you wanna watch, right? And pay attention, this video is really good. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> Come on in the kitchen, let's cook. So step one is brining the turkey. Here I have a gallon of water that I've put into a nice big pot and to that we're gonna add quite a bit of salt. You're gonna need like a cup and a half to a cup, cup to a cup and a half of salt and I'm using kosher salt. You don't wanna use table salt if you can avoid it because that's just not gonna give you the same flavor but if all you have is table salt, it's fine. But try not to use the one that's um, iodized, you know what I'm talking about? Try not to do that because that'll change the flavor. Here I've got brown sugar. The brown sugar in the brine is going to help the color of it later when we cook it. And then we're also going to add a mixture of, I've got some dry thyme in here and some um, sage in here. And underneath that, let me show you, see that? I don't know if you can see it, it's peppercorns, okay? We're gonna put all this in here, see there? And I've got some bay leaves. I'm gonna crush these up, a little bit in there like that. And I've got a ton of garlic because I love garlic and I want the flavor everywhere. So you do you. The garlic is my friend. So I'm gonna put this in there too. I actually took a whole head of garlic and just, just took the skin off all of it and popped it in. Then we've also got some rosemary. I'm using fresh rosemary today. You can use fresh or uh, dry, it doesn't matter. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic broth. Now this is interesting. Normally I would put a cup and a half closer to two cups of salt in this brine because it's a gallon of water. But because I want to add use my better than bouillon garlic base. I'm gonna, I reduce my salt down to about like a cup, just about maybe a cup and a quarter. And I'm going to add in this. Now, concentrated broth has a salt factor of its own. So that's why I reduce the amount of salt that I put in directly. And I'm trading it out for a little bit of this garlic broth. And we're doing just basically an herb brine on this turkey. You can use really any flavors you want. There's, there's really not a rule on this though, but you can just, um, Use whatever flavors you want, you know? So I love herbs and garlic. I have a thing for them. We've been dating for a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these all over the bread. So guys, our um, brine has come together nicely. It's just a little bit of a simmer. I did add a tablespoon of dry rosemary in here because I like the fresh rosemary, but I wanted to make sure I really got that flavor in there. So I added some dry rosemary. Okay, and look, it's not boiling. It's just come to a simmer and the sugar and the salt have dissolved. And so I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna take this off the heat and let it cool before I put it in the bird. Well, before I put the bird in it. And the reason I'm gonna let it cool first is because, you know, poultry can cook pretty easily. So if we just put a bunch of hot water in there, it's gonna start cooking the turkey. And that's not what we want. We don't want this turkey breast to start cooking just yet. So I'm gonna cool this off. You can also cool it off with an ice bath um, if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna kind of let it sit here for a little bit and just, you know, get where I want it to be. And then we will come back and get our turkey in the bag and start the brining process. Okay, family, so I have set this out for about an hour. I actually put it in my refrigerator so that it could cool a little bit quicker. It's not cold, but it's not piping hot anymore. See, it's still, you can touch it without burning your hand, okay? And that's what I wanted. So I've got the bird here, the bird breast. <laughs> At least it's not a bird brain. Okay, sorry, I was, that was corny, but you guys know me. <laughs> All right, here is the breast. I've washed it out very well, okay? Had it in there, I'm gonna put it in the bag. I'm putting it in a bag to make sure that everything can stay covered, okay? And I'm just using this bowl to hold it initially. See here, so what I'm gonna do, actually turn it this way, okay? I probably didn't need this bowl. I could have just gone here. So, we're gonna start, I've got a measuring cup here. Opening this bag, and I'm just gonna start by filling the cup up like this. Okay, and I'm gonna lower it in and pour this flavor, the brine into the bag. And I wanna make sure that the turkey breast is completely covered. You can also do this with a, a whole turkey. It doesn't have to just be a breast. You can do it with legs or wings or whatever parts you wanna do it with. This is just how I'm 
choosing to choose it. See, it's completely covered, okay? You can leave this just in a bag by itself and, and put it in the refrigerator or you can put it in a pot um, or whatever. I'm using my sous vide thing because this is what I use for uh, when I sous vide and it's big enough. So why not, right? So <laughs> even though it has a top here with a little hole where the sous vide machine goes, that doesn't matter. We're just gonna put it down. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let her soak in this for 24 hours. Okay, I know it's like really, I'm trying to tell y'all, this, this one of them times you really shouldn't cut corners, okay? I'm gonna give you one. If you just let it sit overnight, you will probably be okay. But for best results, 24 hours. All right, into the refrigerator, she goes. Okay, family, so I have brined the turkey overnight. It has been 24 hours in the fridge and I wanna show you what has happened. Look at this, you see this? This is our turkey breast, sitting in the juice. It's brown like that, because remember we put a little garlic broth in there with it? That is where all our goodies are. So what I'm gonna do is take this over to the sink. I'm going to pour this out because we cannot use this anymore. This liquid is done, it has done its job. And I'm going to put the turkey on a tray and come back over, the turkey breast, and come back over and we're gonna continue from there. Let's keep going. So here is our turkey breast. I've gotten rid of all of the brine liquid i had to pour it down i used actually like a strainer to make sure that i didn't get things stuck in my disposal because i put garlic in there remember and we used the actual whole thing of a fresh uh, rosemary spray now what we want to do is dry the turkey off pat or dry and don't worry this is not going to do something bad to the flavor we're not going to compromise all of the work that we just did i promise you Okay, use paper towels for this part. And I'm wearing my gloves now because it just helps me feel a little bit better. <laughs> See how I broke her back just a little bit? Yeah, and I did that so she can sit up, okay? So I'm gonna just give her one more little pat. And what we're gonna do now is rub her down in butter and herbs because what we did with that brining solution has got her already inside. She ready. <laughs> now we're going to roast this and cast iron. You can use a, a regular pan, do do what you do, okay? I'm not getting in all that, but I'm just gonna use my cast iron because it's just a turkey breast. And the reason I wanted to open her up and break her back a little bit is I want her to sit up like this when she's in the skillet. So I've got two sticks of butter and these butter sticks are at room temperature. I left them sitting out so they can get nice and soft, see? Just like that, okay? Now, I'm going to you take some garlic powder. I didn't pre-measure these because, you know, this is one of those times when you really need to just let the ancestors speak. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to uh, sort of officially go in with about a tablespoon. You can over season it, but it's very hard to over season a turkey breast. I've never had an over seasoned turkey breast in my life. <laughs> okay, and here's some thyme leaves. We're using the basic same herb blend we used before tablespoon of that, parsley, and again, whatever you choose to use. If you're gonna do it Cajun style, use your Cajun, that's fine. There's our parsley, some basil. These are, yes, these are my little dry kitchen herbs. Y'all see what I'm working with? I like to use fresh herbs too, but you know, dry herbs are actually stronger. And in a situation like this, I recommend this. And a little bit of rosemary. And that garlic powder in there is gonna also help. Remember we put the garlic broth in there and we put in um, whew, some actual cloves of garlic, remember that? Okay, all right, so here's our butter and our rub. Just gonna mix this together. I'm going to put around the bottom of it, we're gonna lay an onion, some more garlic cloves and a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna take this lemon and actually put the zest in here. Don't zest till you get to the white. When you get to the white, stop, because that's the pith, and that part is not good. That part don't taste, that part ain't good. I'm gonna slice this onion, I mean, onion, the lemon up, okay? Here's the lemon. I'm gonna slice it like that. And remember, anything that's in the bottom of the skillet, we can use it after it comes out to make our gravy. All right, so let's get ready to do this. Y'all ready? 
You ready? All right, here it is. Back broken off. See, this is why I'm using the skillet. Doesn't that look good? It looks authentic. <laughs> Authentically what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. First things first, take your finger and run it under the skin. You wanna loosen the skin up a little bit. You see how I did that? Okay. This is important. See how it's skin loose in there? I didn't go crazy. I'm not trying to take the skin off. I'm just trying to loosen it. Okay, same thing over here. Find yourself a little opening and you'll find, don't force it. You'll find an opening in the skin, okay? Okay, and you see, I'm using my finger to separate that space and I'm going up as far as I can. See, even up in here, okay? Now, we're gonna take this butter mixture and we're gonna put it under there, underneath the skin like this gonna help that flavor cook it. See, it's like a little pocket. You see how I put that all the way in there? It's like a little pocket, okay? A little bit more in there, just like that. And then I'm gonna spread it out, see? Okay, and go on this side. So you see what we did? Now here's the, the sides of the breast and everything. We don't have legs and thighs because we're just using a breast this time. Now the rest of this butter, we're gonna take and rub all over the top of our turkey breast. Okay, before I finish laying the rest of this on here, what I'm actually gonna do is put this onion and these, this lemon under here. So you see, I'm gonna, probably should put that on before I get the butter well. Look at this, can you see? I'm taking these lemon slices here and I'm just placing them underneath like this, okay? And I'm doing the same with these garlic cloves. These are not the same garlic cloves that we used to brine with. Everything you used to brine with needs to be thrown away. Do not reuse any herbs. Okay, right there. And then this is just a yellow onion that I'm cutting with my butter hands. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, y'all. <laughs> I wanted to show you real time what it's like, you know? Okay. And I'm gonna take this onion and just kinda lay it under here as well. All right, now let's get the rest of this butter on here. with just a little bit of salt. Cause we've brined it well. So it should be salty, fine, but we don't, just to make sure. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I always like to hit that fresh cracked pepper. All right, into the oven. First, we're gonna start at 450 degrees. It's already warm. As soon as I put it in, I'm gonna turn the heat down to 350. And we're gonna let her roast away. Well, family, our turkey breast was in the oven for a total of about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Um, I checked it at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Use a meat thermometer. I'm telling you, those are your friend. Push it into the thigh area. Make sure you don't hit the bone. And look, voila, isn't she absolutely beautiful? Look at this. And I'm just going to baste a little bit. On here, look at the herbs in there and how that butter turned the skin. A beautiful brown, golden brown color. And what you want to do is let it rest. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes, which is important because you don't want all the juices to just flop out. You know what I mean? Bird like this, my daddy used to say, you know, something is good, you got to take time with it. You know what I'm saying? So take your time with it. Now, I'm not going to make a gravy with this one because it's just a breast and this ain't no dry breast because we brined it first, right? Uh-huh, and then we took our time and we roasted it. So, let's, I'm scared to cut it, y'all, because I don't know how to cut no turkey. I ain't never cut a turkey before, I ain't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> let's pray I don't mess it up because she's so pretty. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna get my husband to cut it and then I'm gonna come back. Hold on, family. I ain't gonna lie, I had to get my husband to cut it because I didn't want to mess it up. It was so pretty, look. So. He went down the middle and then he sliced it all pretty for me. He, he lo him loves me. Anyway, y'all, I told him to leave a little bit on here because I wanted to pull it off. Ooh, look. Look, y'all, I'm gonna put it in this little juice right here. See, because I'm not gonna even have to make, I'm gonna, I mean, for Thanksgiving, make you some gravy, but I'm not making gravy with this today. And it's got the skin on it, let me see. Can you see that, see the skin? Crisp, you hear that? Ah, ah! And those onions in there. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh 
Oh, brining makes all the difference, I'm telling you. There is so much flavor all the way through. Oh, it tastes like, you know sometimes turkey don't taste like nothing. This turkey tastes like this beautiful herb, garlic, butter. It's juicy, it's, <laughs> okay. Y'all get the picture, okay? So we went through the whole process. Brine it, bake it, all of that, okay? Don't forget when you cut it, you know, you wanna turn it a little bit, cut it off the bone and everything so you know you can eat it right. I, this is pretty cut, okay? But figure, you know, cut it right so you can eat it. But this thing right here, I need another piece. Woo! Thanks for joining me. Have a happy Thanksgiving. You can do it. You can do this on a turkey breast. You can do this on an entire turkey. Whatever you need to do, you do it. Whatever flavor you want to do, you do it. And I will see you next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabano cooking with Chef Lori's. That's me. Happy cooking.